Hey guys, John here, and in this lesson we're going to cover how to create a website template. And the way we're going to do this is if I were to build a site from scratch and not use any kind of content management system and just hard code everything, then this is the way, something similar to this is, about, is the way I would go about it. And so I, I just want to show you this and maybe help you to see why I would go about it in this particular way. So as we can see here, we're on our actual, uh, we're on our actual theme here. Uh, we're on our template, and we're on the about page. Okay, and what I'm going to show you is how to be able to create new pages like this, and be able to to manage your site in a way that requires very little from you beyond writing the actual content for each page. And so this is the about page again. So this is what it looks like on the front, and of course. Just a note throughout this whole tutorial, you notice that this is moved to the left. Now normally, of course, you'd have this centered, but I have it to the left here just because it's easier for video editing and things when I uh, do post-production on all this. But uh, you could very easily center this, and I would if I were you, uh, but it is moved to the left here. Now, if we go into the code here, again, this is the About page. We've written our template to the point where in order for me to create that about page this is all the code I need so I have the title of the page I have the content that I want to go on the page which could be anything I could add in images I could add in whatever I wanted here and then I include this file called single.php and this little bit of code because of everything I've done in terms of the template then this little bit of code makes this entire page come together. So if I wanted to add a new page, all I'd have to do is copy this, change the title and the content variables to whatever values I wanted those to be, and then include my single.php again here, and it would create that new page. And so ultimately that's the point of a template, is allowing you to get it to the point where you don't have to copy and recreate a whole whole lot of code you can add pages very easily and if down the line you wanted to change the look and feel of the site it's all templated so you could change the template files as opposed to the content files and you it would change across the entire site now that's actually one of the things that I want to talk about right off the bat and make a clear distinction between throughout this tutorial we're going to be talking about template files and we're going to be talking about content files so this about.php page would actually be a content file. If we come over here to index.php, this would be a content file. These are content files or content pages because these are the actual pages where you're going to put content into them. That's different from the template pages, which are essentially the pages that do all the work to make all of this come together to create the content pages. So our header, footer, sidebar, single.php, functions, our theme methods, and our style sheet, those are all template files. So they make all of this uh, come together and work. So most of what we're going to be doing is looking at the template files. Just know that once you get this done, you can then create content pages or content files really, really easily using what you've done with your template. Okay, so I'm going to go just kind of go ahead and go through this and, and just run through it uh, line by line here. Where I want to start though is I want to start with the single.php because that's the file that we include here and that's essentially where everything is coming together. And So once we see where it comes together then we can kind of piece it out and show how each part works and it'll make a little bit more sense I think. So uh, again remember we have a variable called the title and the variable called the content. So if we come into single.php, you can see again, this is even pretty simple. So what we're doing here first off is we're including our header.php file, which is here. And that's going to do all our header stuff, and we'll show you that in a minute. And then we have our main content area. We have, and this is a width of, this content area is going to have a width of 960 pixels. So it's going to be the full width of what we see for our content area here. So this whole area here. Now it doesn't include everything you see and we'll get to that in a minute but it's that width. 
Then we have inside that content area, we have our main div, which actually contains our content. So you can see we have our H2, and we have uh, echoing the title, which was set up here, okay? And you'll notice for the index.php, it's different. This is how we make each page different. Also notice that the content is different for each page, that variable. So in our single.php, whatever we created in the content page for the title and the content are gonna get passed in here, in here to our main div. Then we're including our sidebar, we're closing our content div, and we're including our footer.php. Okay, so that's essentially how everything comes together. That's how we take what's in the content pages and we put them into the single.php so it makes each page different and allows us to uh, do it very and create those new pages very easily. Okay, so the main template files then that we're looking at are header, sidebar, and footer. Okay, so we'll come over here to our header.php. Now, this will look like most HTML pages that you would see. So you can see up here, the first thing we're doing is we're declaring our doc type which is HTML. We have our opening HTML tag. We have our head section where we have our title. We'll talk about this function here in just a little bit. We're linking to our style sheet and including our style sheet and we're closing our head. Of course, you could flesh this out to have all the different things you want in your head tags here. And then we're starting our body tag where we have our actual content. We have a, a wrapper that's essentially wraps the header, the navigation, the content, and the footer divs inside of it and makes that, and it's a width of 960. And so it makes everything have that nice same width. So that's essentially what that's for. And you can see we have our header, we have our H1 for our site, the site title, and then our site description in paragraph tags. Close that header div, and then we have our navigation. And you can see we have another function here that is a custom function we'll talk about here in a little bit. Okay, so that's our header. Again, pretty straightforward. We're just putting it into a header file so that we can then include it here. Same for our footer file. We have a footer div. Inside of it, we have essentially two halves. One has a copyright section and the other has a powered by section. If we look at that, you can see we have our copyright and we have our powered by. So pretty straightforward there. And then, of course, we go into closing our wrapper, which is this. We close our body tag and we close our HTML in the footer. Okay, so that gives us kind of our full HTML page. And then if you remember, we also had our sidebar.php. Again, this is really simple. It's just a uh, div, the idea sidebar, uh, h3 header for each element in the sidebar, and, and then paragraph tags for the text. Of course, you could make this whatever you wanted. You probably could write some fancy functions to put in there and and make you know have different things in in the side of your site whatever you want to do but again this is just an example so again that's how what makes our single.php together come together we include the header we include the sidebar and we include the footer we have our style sheet which again having gone through uh, you know HTML pages and so on and so forth uh, that's pretty straightforward that's getting included into the header here um, so that we can pull all those style sheet elements. Now, a couple things that you may notice and probably the biggest part of all of this, what makes this really simple to work with and, and easy to do is you see that we've included our functions.php file and then down here, as I mentioned, we're referencing a couple custom functions. So if we go to our functions.php file, you can see that we have our do main nav and we have our do HTML title. And these are custom functions that do kind of what they say. This one helps create the navigation menu. So we're setting the class for it. Um, and then we're creating an items array. Essentially, everything, all the items that we want to show up in the navigation menu, we're putting into this array. So if we wanted to add uh, another item to, to the navigation, we'd simply add another array just like this one. We put a comma add another line and put in another array with whatever the, the anchor text was and whatever the URL was of this particular 
um, link that we wanted to add and then we're running our um, method here which we'll talk about here in just a second. This one we're essentially taking the page title that gets passed again uh, the title is the, the, the name of the page that's going to show up and we're essentially grabbing that and we're passing that into this function and then we're creating a new title and we're just adding essentially a pipe and then John Morris demo theme. This could be the title of your site. So what that creates is this little effect up here where we're on the about page and then we have the pipe and then we have John Morris demo. If we go home you can see it says home John Morris demo so on and so forth so again you could flush both of these out however you wanted to in order to make those work a little bit better but you'll notice we're referencing this DTM variable we're globalizing it um, and then we're calling a method from that particular class well, where does that come from well what we're doing is we have an includes folder and inside of it we have a class called theme methods and that's what this file is and this is where it gets for me this is where it gets fun because now in the back end essentially inside of this class I can write all of my advanced functionality for my site and I can keep it inside of a class and I could actually expand this out to multiple classes and you can essentially in the back end here have an entire new world essentially of functionality for your site so you can keep it all back here and keep it out of being inside of your theme and then what I do uh, just to keep things simple and to, to keep it refined inside of the actual template files is you'll notice that this is a method and it's called navigation and then I'm creating in the functions file this isn't a class these are just uh, straight functions and I'm doing and I'm calling the method essentially in this function from our class that allows me to then come over to uh, our header and just call do main nav okay so do main nav here it calls this function here which essentially calls this method which is in here so we create that kind of uh, pathway to back to our, our class here the reason I do that is just keeps from instantiating a class inside of the template files it keeps the template files clean while yet at the same time allowing me to uh, write really advanced methods in the back end here inside of this class or multiple classes not only that but having this function file here you can see it also acts a little bit as a buffer if I were to call this method directly inside of the template file I would have to do I'd have to set the class I'd have to set the items array and then I'd call the method and that again just takes up a lot more space inside of the template file as opposed to just calling do main nav okay I could even get rid of the echo and in the functions file just instead of returning these I could echo these to make it a little bit cleaner but however you want to do that but again it allows you to have a little bit of a buffer between your template files and your methods so that you can call you can set anything that you need to set in order to call that method correctly in terms of variables or whatever uh, it may need so if you look then at this setup what this allows you to do is it again it, it really opens up a whole new world on the back end for all of your complex functionality to be written inside of a class or, or classes f funnel that down essentially to this functions file where you create all of the actual functions that are going to get called inside your template files then inside your template files you call those functions and then when you, by the time you get to your actual content pages that's what gets you down to just a few lines of code and this could actually stay this way because even if you have really complex things happening they're all gonna happen here most likely most of the complex stuff's gonna happen inside of the class and then you're gonna funnel that down to probably a single function inside of your functions file and then you make a nice clean call to that function in your template file and so nothing will really ever change for your content file and that's the point you want your content file to ultimately be just about the content 
So the only thing that we're changing here is the content for each one of these particular pages. Okay, so if I were to write a site on my own and uh, not use any kind of CMS or anything like that, this is essentially what I would do and is, is, is write it in this way so it becomes uh, really easy to create new pages, really easy to manage if I want to upgrade you know the theme or change the look and feel all I have to do is change the template files mostly what I'd have to change is the style sheet uh, maybe a little bit in terms of layout and some of the other template files but once I do that because of the way I'm calling this here and this is referring back to a template file that then calls other template files I don't have to make any changes to this page and the look and feel if I change the template files will change across all of these pages so I can have hundreds of pages and it wouldn't matter because again it's all templated so that's the power of building a website template and if you're going to build one then that's how I, I would do it now one last note uh, I want to make about this is as you go throughout you know the rest of the course you're going to hear me talk about themes and theming. And when I talk about themes and theming, this is what I'm talking about. So if I say you would theme, you might theme this particular area, maybe it's a front end or a, a back end of a application, which by the way, you can use this exact same setup to theme the back end of your applications as well, which I would suggest doing because then as you want to upgrade your application, and ch make changes to the, the the layout and the user interface you have it themed like this and it makes it a lot easier in terms of that as well but anytime I say theming this is what I'm referring to I'm referring to creating some sort of template like this that allows you to uh, do this really easily and ultimately what you would probably do whether it's front end or back end uh, let's say you're building an application then instead of this uh, you know theme methods class this essentially would be your application with all of the different classes you have for your application and you could even still funnel it down to a functions file which I still think is a good idea even for front-end or back-end um, development you could funnel it down to a functions file and then then in your actual again your content pages now wouldn't necessarily be content but they would be user interface pages for let's say the back end of a application but you could still theme it all out just uh, exactly like this so again when I talk about theming this is what I'm talking about um, so just keep that in mind as you go throughout the rest of the course so that's the quick and dirty on building a website template um, you know again it's it's pretty straightforward once you get your head around it it can be a very very powerful tool it can make you really, you know, think twice about using some sort of CMS because of how easy this really is. So, uh, again, that's how to build a website template. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you later.